Okay, welcome back to Cooking to Find a Husband. Um, this series is just kind of a humor series since I am single and I have time to learn how to cook new things, bake new things, learn recipes. So I am preparing myself for when I do have a husband and kids, I can cook them anything they want and hopefully it will taste good. So in this video, we are going to make homemade ice cream. I'm gonna go through the ingredients really quick, super simple. The, all you need, hold on. We have sweetened condensed milk. We are going to use cream cheese. And then we are going to, oh my gosh, I know, hold on. Heavy whipping cream. whipping cream, cream cheese, condensed milk. Is that it? I think that's it. And I am also adding something else in for the flavoring because it's gonna be like a cream cheese and a fruit. I'm not gonna tell you what that fruit is until later in this video. It's not a very common flavor of ice cream, but I'm very excited, so let's get started. <laughs> Okay, to get started, we need to whip up the heavy whipping cream. So I'm gonna go grab the mixer and pray that it doesn't fall on my face when I'm grabbing it off the shelf. It's a heavy, it's heavy, it's a heavy thing. Bowl. Oh my. Why do we put it on the top shelf? Don't ask me. Time for ice cream. Okay. Do I use this or do I use this? I think I use this. Let me look. Okay, I looked it up. We're using this one.
Okay, so next we are revealing the flavor. As you can see, it's gonna be peach. So I am going to skin these actually, and then cut them up and add them into the mixture that you just saw that we whipped the cream. And once I put these in there, I'm also going to be putting the cream cheese and the condensed milk. So first, let's get these cut up. The cream cheese, which I'm gonna cube up in a little bit smaller pieces. It's easier to mix. are going to mix this. have it mixed, I am going to place it in this container and put it in the freezer.
Have it ready to be frozen and I think that said at least two to three hours to freeze where it's soft but if you let it sit longer than that it'll be more like ice cream so I'm gonna let it sit for a couple hours for sure and we'll come back to it but let me just taste this to see if it even tastes good right now it smells good oh yeah it's gonna be good okay let's see what this is like in a few hours It'll be a few seconds for you guys, but oh wow. I'm gonna lick this thing for sure. Off camera, of course. Okay, it's been a few hours. I don't know if it's frozen yet. It's not really that frozen. I'm gonna go put it back in the freezer. Still tastes good though. Okay, let's try this again. Get a spoon. Oh, it's, it's a little bit more frozen. Not like, oh, some of it's more frozen. Okay, but just, oh my gosh. Okay, here we go. Oh, camera's over there. I don't know if it's gonna focus or not. That's dangerous. It's not quite like melty as ice cream is. Mmm, it's so good. I'd say it's kind of like a mix between cheesecake, ice cream, and yogurt kind of combined in a weird way. Oh my goodness. This is good. This is good. And don't come after me for putting my um, spoon in this. Nobody's coming over to try this. I thought I was going to have some people come try it, but... They ain't coming. It is gum. Oh, brain freeze. Ooh. This is good. 10 out of 10, I would, I would make this again. I really should have someone come try it. If I have someone try it, I'll try to, I'll ask them if they want to be filmed and see what they say. Um, thank you guys for watching. Uh, let me show you guys this up close. So thank you guys so much for watching this learning to cook video. I would say this is a win. Um, make it at home. If you do make it at home, tag me, send me an email, send me a message on Instagram, Facebook, however you want to message me, leave a picture in the comments. I don't know if you can do that, but if you can, you should like, That'd be so cool. It'd be so cool if you guys made this too. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you guys in the next video.